later on as uh, we go through the succession of Mary and Edward and Elizabeth, there are some more painters that really capture the feeling of design of that period and the changing colors and the changing fashions. What I love so much is when I find painters and artists who I feel like loved materials as much as I do. Um, Nicholas Hilliard is one of those people and he was a miniaturist and he was, he was known very well for painting quite a few miniatures of Elizabeth I throughout her life but he also painted people like Sir Francis Drake and my personal favorite, the absolute hottie, <laughs> Sir Walter Raleigh, for all of his uh, less than pleasant side uh, stories. Um, I obviously live in North Carolina, so Raleigh is a place I'm very familiar with, but I just, I find it so fascinating that Hilliard captures not just the faces of these people because they feel like in these little tiny miniatures, they feel like they're people that you could know, but he also has just a beautiful way of getting the detail on their clothing so that from portrait to portrait, I mean, he could have just kept it relatively the same. Um, you know, in the early Tudor period, you don't have the ruffs that come later. Um, but when the ruffs get here and the starched lace shows up, you know, one to another, they're pretty much the same to someone who really doesn't care. But Hilliard clearly cared because portraits of women and men, you he took the time to really get those details right and doing it in miniature is just so, so utterly fascinating to me. Again, the silhouette here is starting to change, right? Some of the men are wearing much more slimmed down versions. That big box coat that's very much associated with Henry uh, becomes less and less popular and you get a little bit more of that sort of peplum style that we're very familiar with. Um, but there's also, uh, in addition to the kind of court dress that you would see, there's also what I personally love, which is jousting dress. And we do have some examples um, from Hilliard and some, from some others of this period where we get to see the absolute frippery of men in full costume getting ready to impress the queens of the era. So this painting dates 50 years past the death of Henry VIII, but it is another Nicholas Hilliard painting and I absolutely adore this. So this is uh, the Earl of uh, George Clifford III, Earl of Cumberland, and he is dressed in jousting attire. And you can tell that by the big lance that he's wearing. He's also got on his head, the queen's glove, the favor of the queen on his head. And now, even though Elizabeth was not a jouster herself, she was probably not healthy enough and a very slight person at that. Um, she did love the sport and this, example just shows you how absolutely beautifully garish, I guess, is a way to describe what I'm seeing here, that some of these costumes could be. And can you just imagine an entire field full of dozens, if not hundreds, of knights of the peerage dressed like this with these immense plumes on their head and the contrast of their sleeves, the sort of celestial sleeves and, and hose that he's wearing with his under, whether it's armor, I can't quite tell, it might be armor. Um, and then this beautiful sort of flowing uh, gown-like material that he's wearing as well with the sky blue against the sort of coppery uh, burnished sienna color. Um, and he seems to be absolutely thrilled to be part of this gorgeousness um, and his you can see the helmet uh, of his armor as well there on the on the ground in his gloves so I guess to answer my question that is probably armor what a gorgeous set of armor that's got to be I just love how absolutely over the top this is you can see the detailed embroidery on his sleeves that match the hat that match the hem of everything else you know it's such a shame that in the 20th century we have just lost this sense of being able to have masculine fashion that is beautiful, that, that has flowers, that has flounces, that has, you know, gems and buttons and gold because we have lost something. And I don't think there's anything contrarian to it. I think it's just, once again, when we have materials and we have fashion, controlling who gets to wear what is very, very popular and it's very, very powerful in, in what you're able to do.